going to say. All right, you guys go hide. Hi, it's Pastor Gordon with today's Word for the Word. I'm with some of my grandsons, and we're about to play hide-and-seek. <laughs> it is hard finding these kids in a cornfield. But you know what? Hide-and-seek is in the Bible. These boys are going to go hide. I'll give you a head start instead of counting to ten. But it made me think, you know, there's at least three characters in the Bible that hid. David spent years running, hiding in the caves in the wilderness from King Saul. Elijah, one of my favorite characters that the book of James says was a man just like us, he was hiding under a broom tree after he ran a day's journey trying to get away from Jezebel. But the very beginning of the Bible, the book of Genesis, in the Garden of Eden, after Adam and Eve broke their one and only rule, they hid from God. And as God was approaching them in the cool of the evening, he cried out, Adam, where are you? Adam was hiding hiding from God who knows and sees everything. <laughs> but the good news in that story is God was looking for Adam after he had made a mistake, blown it. He committed a sin. He disobeyed a clear command. Elijah had felt like he failed and he was hiding under a tree and God found him. And God sustained David over and over again, even as King Saul came this close to finding him. So God has a plan that can get us where we are. He can keep us safe. And even if we've blown it, he still seeks after us so that we can be restored. That's a great theme here in a cornfield. That's today's word from the word. I'm going to go find those boys. Are you ready, boys? Here I come.